Hello everyone, it's... You always wait till I start talking. Every time. Relax, relax, relax. It's that time of year for Wrestlemania, and as usual, I'm going to be doing a live broadcast. This time, here, for the first time here on YouTube, I'm going to be doing a Google Hangout. I'm inviting Undertaker Freak again. Uh, I think this is the third year in a row I've done a live show with him. And this year we're going to throw in I Must Destroy All to the Mix. So we're going to be doing a live broadcast. Um, I'm going to, after looking at this card, get drunk as fuck. As usual, maybe this year I will finally achieve my dream and throw up on camera for you guys. Anyway, uh, what was that? Please don't. Anyway, um, I'm going to go over the card here real quick, do predictions, even though I don't even care about half of these matches, because my interest in the product is slim to none at this point. But anyway... Um, the Usos versus the Real Americans versus Los Matadores versus Rybaxel. Um, I don't care. I think Vince McMahon is a hard on for the American thing, so look for the Real Americans to win this year, I guess. By the way, this is WrestleMania 30 if I didn't throw that in the beginning, in case you're watching this many years in the future. Anyway, Vicky Guerrero Divas title match invitational. Uh, don't give a shit about this. This is basically their way of saying, oh, we got to do something that involves every female on the roster. They always have some sort of battle royal like this. Uh, whatever. Anyway, um, look for, I don't know. Look for, look, for, look for China to return and win. China's going to win. New Dog, do you have to crunch in the background like that? Yes. It's very tasty. And your video is very unimportant. Um, look for, what's her name, the fucking girl, what, what's, what's the girl you like, Girl Fiend? The one with the dark hair. The one with the dark hair. That used to date Cena. Look for the girl with the dark hair that used to date Cena. She has a really nice body. There you go. She's had, she's had impure thoughts about that. She, isn't that true, Girl Fiend? Yeah, I have wet dreams. Okay, there you go. Um, I do believe that's AJ you're thinking of. Right? AJ? I don't know her name. Right. Well, she doesn't, ask. she doesn't need a name. All right. Anyway, um, Andre Giant, Memorial Battle Royal, um, I don't, Christian Cage, who cares? The Shield versus Kane and the New Age Outlaws. Um, the Shield, because they need to go over more than the old guys that should have retired a few years ago. Anyway, um, John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. This is actually... The first time I am interested in seeing a John Cena match at a WrestleMania in years, or I guess ever. Um, I think this is going to be a good match. I think this is quite possibly going to be the show stealer match. Uh, look for look for Bray Wyatt to go over here, and it's just it's so refreshing to finally have a WrestleMania again where John Cena isn't trying to ruin it to fight for the title, win the title again, have the title going in. It, it, it's just it's just nice. It's just nice to see him doing something different for once. We all love John Cena, though. He is our hero. All right. That's awkward. Um, the Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, WWE has successfully taken a, a, a very prime matchup every year. We look forward to the Undertaker matches and turned it into something that there's barely any interest in. Now granted, don't get me wrong, I think it's going to be a good match. I think these guys match up very well. But it's going into this match that we're saying, wow, there is a 0% chance that Brock Lesnar is going to win. And if Brock Lesnar does win... Your if Brock, is too long. If Brock Lesnar does win... It makes no sense that this, as Undertaker Freak, I saw him tweet out something like, you know, why would a, a part-timer win and destroy the streak of, you know, some guy that's had it been going for over 20 years now. Anyway, um, there's no chance Brock Lesnar's going to win this. There's no mystique about that. That whole streak in this whole match has been like, oh, is this finally going to be the year? No. This is, there's, there's no fucking way this is the year that the Undertaker possibly loses it. Every other year I said, I was like, oh, maybe they are going to have CM Punk go over on him. Oh, maybe Triple H is going to book himself to go over on him. Maybe Shawn Michaels isn't going to retire and go over on him. This year it's like, there's no fucking way Brock Lesnar's going to go over on him. Anyway, um, 
No, oh, you almost said Triple H. The Undertaker wins. Daniel Bryan versus Triple H. Um, I could see this match ending one of two ways. All right. Daniel Bryan wins. Wins clean. Goes on. Looks like he's going to face the main event. But Triple H is so bitter that he grabs a sledgehammer, beats the shit out of Daniel Bryan, can't compete in the main event. All right? That sounds violent. Yes, it does. That's the whole thing. It's supposed to be violent. Uh, Daniel Bryan can't compete, so Triple H has to go on and take his place at the triple th as a, uh, in the triple threat match in the very end. All right? Now, just hear me out. I see the triple threat match then going on with Randy Orton, Batista, and Triple H, only to have a beaten down Daniel Bryan wander down to the ring near the very end, since he was the technical winner of that first match before Triple H, he deserves to be in there, and maybe as a ref or something with him, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, he somehow comes in, saves the day in the end, wins, and the crowd chants yes, despite them booing and shitting on the entire match, thinking Daniel Bryan's going to have no way to win it. Now that's scenario number one. Daniel Bryan wins that match. Triple H goes on to the main event after, after beating the, the shit out of him with a sledgehammer. Anyways, okay, hope you're following along. Now, second way I see this. Daniel Bryan beats Triple H clean, doesn't get the sledgehammer beat down, goes down into the main event, wrestles, and is about to pick up the win, probably over Bautista, but then CM Punk comes in and fucking ruins it for him. Costs Daniel Bryan the match. That's right, CM Punk returns and costs Daniel Bryan the match. That is the absolute one way they could get away with having Daniel Bryan leave New Orleans without the title and the crowd not fucking riding over it. Because right now, this crowd is wanting Daniel Bryan to leave. And the, the crowd's going to shit on a, a lot of this show, probably. Um, but yeah, that's how, that's how I see that going down. So, you know, as for the main event, I see Randy Orton retaining via some sort of either, you know, interference or whatever. Um, I, I don't see Daniel Bryan leaving with the belt. I don't think they like Daniel Bryan uh, company-wise. Um, you know, the yes chants are nice and all, but they want to do what, you know, puts butts in the seats and sells ratings and sells ratings and gets ratings. And Daniel Bryan had a title run before and, you know, the company's business went, Nyeh. but who knows? Maybe they want to try it again. Um, it can't be much worse. And now that they got the WWE Network thing going, they're making, you know, shit ton of money off of that. So who knows if they even care about ratings anymore. So there we go. So your Randy Orton Bautista versus question mark will, will be either be Triple H um, with Daniel Bryan saving the day only to, you know, either win or just, I who cares, just watch the show. Anyway, um, yep, by that point in the night, I'll probably be uh, 10 drinks into my evening, and I'll just be passed out by then. So you'll be listening to I Must Are Destroy. you promoting drinking with these things? Because you have a lot of, it's not always so good. Well, Drinking you, in excess isn't good. Not but it is when it's a real shitty WrestleMania card. Everyone understands. I saw Barack Obama talking about it the other day when they asked him about drinking. He was like, "Well, I don't, I don't encourage excess drinking in Americans, but if it's a real shitty WrestleMania card, then there's there's no problem." The president wouldn't curse. Well, he did this time. That's how serious it was. No, he would never do that. Cause then yes, he would. Anyway, turn, tune into the live show. We'll be broadcasting here live from my YouTube channel. Even if you don't like wrestling, watch it because Undertaker Freak is going to say sweet nothings to my girl fiend, just like he did last year. And boy, if you guys... He makes me so wet. Oh my goodness. It's, it's true. Anyway, um, tune in just to see that alone. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. A better tomorrow. And New Dog, thank you for not eating my face in this video. He's preoccupied looking outside. He's guarding He's the neighborhood. For birds. See you Sunday, guys. By the way, I didn't mention the, the show's Sunday. We're going to be starting at 8 since there's a three hour time block on these YouTube Google Hangouts. Um, the actual show starts at 7, the WrestleMania, but we're going to start at 8 here. Anyway, bye.